you know, I, I, I think uh, what India's greatest need is is simply getting people, giving as many of its citizens as possible a high school education. Because then those, um, you know, we're, we're 1.2 billion people. Um, I, I don't know what the, I can't think of what the percentages are in terms of, you know, what percentage, people of working age and so on. But, you know, you only need, even though we have a shortage of professors, you only need a small number of professors relative to the you know, overall size of the, so, you know, the, the labor force is something like four or five hundred million, say. Uh, with all the software and you know, other stuff, and it, it, it's, it's going to be a very small fraction, right, who are going to be doing those jobs. But there's a huge number of other jobs, you know, so you have you know, the, the, the factory worker, the supervisor, the manager, you know, then, uh, in, and that's one of the things you've seen with, for example, the IT sector. You've seen that uh, it started out with just uh, programmers, but then uh, people have spun off different things, even even the ancillary, you know, the transportation of people to call centers, that has become, you know, more professional. Uh, and uh, uh, so, so providing, I think providing those kinds of, um, those kinds of basic, uh, say, you know, uh, basic skills in terms of, uh, Reading, writing, communication, numeracy, all those things. I mean, that's, that's what India needs more than anything else. Even to be a factory worker, you have to have some level of uh, you know, understanding and education. So, uh, uh, so that, that's, uh, uh, that's, I think, where, where we're falling the shortest is. Uh, after all, you know, they, uh, a lot of Indians, because of this, the scarcity in India of higher education, a lot of Indians now are going abroad even for their first degree. When I was young, that would never have happened except, you know, for the Rhodes Scholars or something. Whereas, you know, you only, you only went, uh, you got your bachelor's degree and then went abroad for a master's if you were lucky. But now, so many students go, go abroad for the undergraduate degree. So, uh, I think those students could also be kept here by allowing foreign investment and expansion of the private sector in higher education. But I feel like that's actually, I mean, that's such an easy thing to fix. And what we should be focusing on is, is uh, uh, you know, primary and secondary education, because that's where the, the biggest challenge is. Uh.